I have two older men beside me now. I never thought that I'd be standing on Wexford Park and be safe with two older men beside me, but I think we're all on the one lines tonight, lads. Uh, Keith, you were fantastic tonight. You're at the wrong end of 30 now, I believe, is that right? But your performance tonight was fantastic. How do you feel? I know how I feel after that game. How do you feel? Asher's great, Tom. Uh, absolutely delighted. Uh, we performed in this last weekend, uh, and you know, there's no result at the end of it. You know, and it was a heavy week on us there trying to get back right again, but. Uh, we got the result tonight and it's great and like, for the pitch of age and the whole lot, for the support for everyone it's great and for the bunch of lads I've been putting in the last three or four years there with Liam as well, it's, look, it's, it's finally after paying off a bit, we've won nothing but it's a great result to be the in champions in your, in your own backyard. That's for sure and Rory I think the big difference now, I mean Liam was always going to be judged on taking a big scalp, I think that judgement is gone now. What's after making the difference, you know? I mean, there were a couple of times that people were saying, well, that's it, now Wexford are gone. Mm. We didn't, there, there seemed to be no end to us over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I just, uh, I think last last week gave the lads a lot of confidence, I think, you know, going down to Clare and, 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 and pulling out performance like that, you know. Really, really should have won the game, you know, to be honest with you, we should have won the game. And we came out of it and we were kind of thinking, you know, we sat down on Monday and we kind of said to ourselves, just lads, we have another chance down here at Wexford Park. And I, I think what was key in, in the whole game, I think, tonight, and I kind of said it to keep going down today, we stayed in the game well until half time. We were well in it and we, we kind of gave Claire a message that we weren't going away, you know. They were coming down and they were expecting maybe to blow Wexford away and the lads didn't go away, you know. At least maybe things weren't going right for some fellas, but they were sticking in there and they were working and I think that was key tonight, you know. Yeah. And I think, Keith, with some of the younger players, you know, and you've seen players come and go over the last few years, one thing that struck me tonight, and it just shows me that all is very well in the panel, Paul Morris, I'll just name him, he went off kind of in normal time, came back and probably turned the game around in, in extra time. That takes a fair bit of character, doesn't it? Ah, it is. There's, there's a good few characters like that in, in the panel at the minute. Like, fair play to Paul. Head was down after being taken off. Look back on three points. He couldn't ask for better. You know, he... Liam has been doing that. He done it with the man here beside me last weekend, and, and only for him, we probably wouldn't be here for the replay. You know, he even had a chance to win it, but he fell a little bit short. But we won't hit him on that now today. You want to hit him a bit harder, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, in, in fairness to Paul, he, he, you know, he came on, he stepped up, and Jack Guiney coming on as well. Same thing. Didn't start. Came on, man of the match. You know, a couple of difficult frees. That win there today, Tom. When you're down on the field, and you're in the stand, you might notice it, or on the telly, you're sure you're not going to notice it. But when you're on the field, Wexford Park is a disaster for wind. And it was swirly and hit a free in that now and the pressure freeze that we had it was great. It was great. Yeah. And Rory, uh, were you aware? I mean, I was talking to some of the people from Dublin up in the stand and up in the press box tonight mm. today and they just could not get over the atmosphere mm. and the Wexford support. Mm. Would you be aware of that on the field tonight? Ah you would, yeah, just definitely you would, you know. When when the scores got there the second half Especially the second half, I think we, when we were coming back into the game, and it looked like we were going to win it. You could you could feel it, you know, that the extra crowd were really getting behind us. And then then an extra time, as you said earlier on, especially when Paul Morris got them scores, there was a great buzz, you know. And it's brilliant, you know, to get the crowd in here in Wexford Park. I think it's it's one of the best days Wexford Park has ever seen, you know. To be honest with you today, and and the crowd the crowd really helped, you know. But I suppose the only the only way you get the crowd behind you is by performing, and you know the same lads who are uh, I'm going to be I suppose a devil's advocate now but the same lads who are giving us a tap on the back today if we're not beating Watford next Saturday they'll be giving us a kick you, you know where you know so we'll have to keep our heads down and go again Absolutely and, and finally I suppose Keith that the Watford game it's only eight days away it, it is a challenge now to get back onto the ground and get going for that because really that's all that matters now going forward Well that's it as I said we, we won nothing today Tom but uh, we're going to enjoy today you know we'll enjoy it now until Late You're tonight. not the only one, Keith. You know, I think, <laughs> I think the whole race was going to enjoy it, but it was great. Uh, but you know, come tomorrow, the, the focus has to turn to Watford. Uh, I'm sure there's a few Watford lads at that game there today, and you know, they've man marked and pinpointed a couple of our lads now as well. And you know, they're probably happy to be drawn with Exeter as well, and not to be drawn the Ireland champions, you know. So, uh, it's, it's all guns blazing tomorrow now from tomorrow on for, for Watford but it's great to be there it's, it's great to be one step away from a All-Ireland quarter final and I was just talking to Martin's story there lads and he said that uh, go ahead and win the All-Ireland with Wexford don't bother hurling with Owlert at all this year you, you, you'll be released from duty if that's alright you know I don't think you believe that lads well, well done tonight lads it's an absolute privilege to be a Wexford man and to watch out doing that there tonight well done thanks